I see so many people talking about the train derailment at East Palestine, Ohio. And all I'm going to ask is that if you do this, you get your facts right. I literally grew up right down the road from East Palestine. Um, my old childhood best friend lives in the fucking town. Um, my current best friend literally lives right next to the town. It is so much worse than what the media is telling any of us. I'm getting reports from people that are down there right now that they're literally seeing schools of fish floating down streams, rivers, fucking dead. I got a video from my friend, okay, and she's like walking, dude, it's all fucking dead. All fucking dead. And on the top of the water is a really pretty chemical rainbow sheen. The chemicals are in the fucking water and they're lying to the rest of the country saying they're not. The water's been contaminated. The soil's been contaminated. The fucking air is contaminated. You literally are about to see some of the worst fucking health side effects coming out of people in that town. It's not even funny. And y'all want to know something even more fucked up? The restaurant that I work at in a whole different state had to donate food to them because we had people from the churches calling to tell us that Red Cross never fucking came, FEMA never fucking came, the environmental con con conservationists still have yet to fucking come, and nobody's fucking helping them. Meaning, all of the fucking firefighters that were working get no food, have nothing to help them, nothing. Okay, all the people that were displaced have no food, water, a place to stay, none of that shit. It is so much worse than what they're telling you, and TikTok probably won't even let me post this video, but if this video gets posted, please save it and repost it everywhere you fucking can, because I'm telling y'all, they are covering this shit up. They are covering this shit up because they don't want to get out how bad it actually was. This was not good. This was the worst fucking thing that's happened probably in the past eight years. That entire town is basically unlivable now because of the fucking chemicals. And they're lying telling civilians that it's safe, knowing damn well because I took chemistry and I know chemicals and I have this awesome fucking supercomputer in my hand. The side effects from breathing in those chemicals, they're covering shit up. They're covering shit up. They're covering shit up. But it's not surprising.